In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore the welcome screen in the software boutique if you've recently upgraded your older Ubuntu Mate to the version 18.04. Uh, I've been recently upgrading uh, some of my computers and some of the my friends and family's uh, computers and one thing I've noticed that when I've upgraded, when I go to administration on the systems menu and look at uh, the applications or programs within the app uh, administrations menu that the welcome screen and the software boutique are no longer there. Well you don't have to worry you can actually install those and I have the the instructions here in a text file that I'll put on my web page and I'll put below this video if you're watching it on YouTube. All you need to do is just reinstall the welcome screen. Some people don't like the welcome screen once they get used to Ubuntu and you can disable it. Uh, it's there that you can always bring back and, and the software boutique is excellent. You can install software from it. So to install the uh, welcome screen you open up your terminal and I've placed the terminal on my menu bar uh, so that I can click here. If you don't have it on your menu bar you go to system tools and you go all the way to the Mate terminal. So you go to the applications menu, your system tools, and the Mate terminal. And you click on that and your terminal pops up. If you see it doesn't show my name. I'm on my parents computer and Ralph is the name of my dad. And so he's used to having the welcome screen and the software boutique. To install the welcome screen I'm just going to copy and paste this. It's now installed as a snap package so it says snap install the classic Ubuntu Mate welcome screen. I'm going to paste it on the command line. I press return or the enter key. I put in his password. Hit authenticate. And it's downloading the welcome screen. It shouldn't take too much longer. and as it's downloading uh, I'm not going to mess with anything but uh, I like Ubuntu Mate 18.04 you know I didn't like the original replacing the applications places and system as the default but you can restore that as you see on the panel at the top I do like where they put uh, the power button because before it was directly underneath uh, the buttons and I know you can change those buttons positions but by default uh, that button, the power button, used to be above it. And if someone would accidentally click, they click on that one. And I know a little menu pops up. And if they don't click on shut down or cancel or something, it will turn the computer off. So I do like moving the power button over to the left hand side of your time and date uh, so you don't accidentally click uh, the power button there. And for someone that might go in panic mode if they accidentally hit the power button, if they were waiting. Uh, and didn't know what to do when the little pop-up screen after so many sackets as it times down their system would shut down and if they were doing something that didn't save their work they would lose it so that was a good change uh, by moving the power button from the right hand side of the time to the left hand now if you want to put it back to the right you can customize it alright it's now setting up the welcome screen and it's finished the next thing we want to do and you can see the uh, the welcome screen should be back in the menu but before I do that I'm going to install the boutique the software boutique I put the password again and it's going to go through just as it did by installing the welcome screen it's going to go through and install the stable version of the software boutique the software boutique is an excellent uh, software managing store so that you can get your software that works great that integrates great with Ubuntu Mate I know you can install it through the synaptic package management for some newbies uh, that can be a little intimidating that's more on the intermediate side of installing software and as you can see you can install by the terminal but a lot of newbies uh, don't feel comfortable, especially if they're just starting out by installing by the terminal. All right, now if you go to the systems, go to administrations, they're not there, but they should be after I reboot the computer. So I'm going to pause the record. Okay, I've just rebooted the system, and if I go to my systems menu, the administration, you can now see software boutique and you can see the welcome screen. 
Now, as I rebooted, uh, the welcome screen did pop up. And to disable the pop-up, if you do not want this to pop up every time that it, you turn on your system, you can uncheck, open the welcome screen when I log on, and then hit close. Now, I'm not going to go through the the welcome screen by going through all the different settings, the buttons on them. You know, it's just an introduction to explaining, getting started if this is the first time you install it, lets you install the drivers, it steps you step by step. Since this is an upgrade, I think you've used the welcome screen before, or at least you, I hope you have. If not, eventually I may do a video on the welcome screen. But this is just to show you how to reinstall it. Let me hit the close button and to show you that the software boutique works as well by clicking on the software boutique since this is the first time I've installed it it will take a minute or two to go and get the software and load uh, the information on your screen so you can select the software through the boutique uh, as you can see it's checked here to set to retrieve the latest software this, since this is a snap package it's going to always uh, show you the latest software uh, as you can see you go through and everything is there so this video hopefully helped you restore your software boutique and your welcomes menu if you've upgraded from an earlier version like 17.10, 17.04, 16.04, or any of the earlier versions of Ubuntu Mate if you've upgraded and missing the welcome screen and the software boutique. Hopefully this video will help you put that back.